Welcome back to Prey, y'all. 2017. <laughs> I'm your host, Jay. Let's load her up, huh? So we got to play Spaceman's last mission. We had to seal a hull breach, which we totally did. We also used spare parts to restore uh, part of the hardware lab. Hopefully get a Q-beam. It said Q-beam on the door. This is my first time playing. I haven't gotten a Q-beam yet, but I know it's a weapon. Hopefully we get that today. But that's what we're doing today. Hopefully, as I sip on my sweet tea. I would kill the god for sweet tea. If y'all watched yeah, if y'all watched last episode, you know there's a phantom over there. <laughs> One of those Mortal Kombat phantoms. That's what my brain's telling me to call them. The ones that make shadows of itself and throw fireballs and teleport. You know, Mortal Kombat phantom. We did kill him last episode, but he hurt us. Archa. Etheric Phantom. Mortal Kombat, baby. New Psionic Aptitude available. Do, 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 do. What's up, Biznotch? <laughs> Beeping sound was just that, but oi, cafe, man. <laughs> okay, I think we technically used more shotgun shells than last time, but he didn't touch us. He tried to, Coming through. but he didn't. Yeah, like I was saying, Mortal Kombat Phantom. Man, he had more stuff last time when we killed him, too. Oh, well. I think all he had extra was a Psy Hypo. Who cares? Oh, and this dude's alive now for some reason. Okay, if you watch the end of last episode, he was flying around and stuff. Operator approaching. But we are fighting up here too, making all sorts of noise. So I think he heard that. So anyway, yeah, Mortal Kombat Phantom. Yeah, we used a bunch of our spare parts to restore atmosphere to the Q-Beam lab. That's where we're gonna go today. I saw something interesting. So if you took Dismantle with the Neuromods. So I have a lot of uh, 
of that synthetic material. You could convert that into bolt casters and then convert that into spare parts. Use the metal from that to make ammo. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, specifically this. This is what I'm thinking. We make a bunch of bolt casters. Make them into spare parts. Use the metal for that to make ammo. Hmm. Just a thought. Proper. Probably something I'm gonna do in the future. Cause see, for real, we need steel. Like I la said last episode, even if you're playing as Human Morgan or totally Black Mage, VV, Girl Morgan, you need steel. We have a lot of synthetic material to make bolt casters. Spare part on the steel. Just a thought. Just a thought. It's both shoddy ammo and uh, nine milli ammo. Let's see, steel. Checking. <laughs> All right, we thought about fixing that last episode, but we don't even have enough parts for it, man. I think that's 11. Yeah, you need leverage 3 strong mans to get through there. So 6, 10, 11. Man, I'm being cheap thinking 3 is a lot, man. <laughs> Eh, leave him there. He's not hurting nobody. Besides, I'm gonna come back to this anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we did that yesterday. We went outside, we sealed the whole breach with the glue gun. And these are both, yeah, whistleblower, corpse, those are both crew quarters. <laughs> I've been zapped enough by that thing that I respect it, man. <laughs> Good God, I respect that. I respect it enough that I'm going through the fence.
More phantoms. It's just easier to go through the loady door like a little bitch. <laughs> Let's see if they're ne if they nemesis their way through or not. I doubt it. That's why I did it. We shall see though. I just remembered I need to get the timer going. There we go. Give or take five or ten minutes. Here's the thing, before I went outside, I cleared that room. Like before I went to hardware and went out to space, I cleared that room. Oh well, whatever. I didn't mean to use that many 9 milli bullets, man. For real. Just that robot came out of nowhere and I started blasting. Well, if they respawned in there, I'ma assume that this area isn't safe either. Sounds you check in the trash can. Like I said, I'm not taking this stuff because uh, this is my first time through new game.
because I like having at least 90 on me. Part of the other reason I opened up on that robot, I only got the uh, fabrication plan for shotgun ammo a couple episodes ago. So I totally forgot I have shotgun ammo now. I got enough of it. That and a glue cannon and a wrench works pretty good on those robos, too. It just came out of nowhere and I legitimately panicked. Oh well. I have plenty of these left anyway. Good evening, Talos. We'd like to remind you that company... We know the projects aboard Talos 1 are exciting, but even the brightest man... Yeah, whatever. our way through here better if we can. Last time it was two phantoms and two robots, corruptabots, corruptorators. So they're called operators in the game, but they're robot cooperators. I messed up. <laughs> oh, well. Delicious sweet tea. <laughs> well, whoever's watching this, I hope y'all are having a kick ass day. Do, do, do. There's one quick thing I want to fix. Do Okay, so that's all just computers. I was hoping there was a turn off, auto examine, containers, you know, trash bins. Mm, excuse me. I still think that's worth it. It's the area is hot. Like this gun. <laughs> that's totally not silent.
I don't know how or what's seeing me. Right, it's Chris Redfield time. Y'all want some of this, come get it. whatever. Whatever. Ah, crew quarters as well. is mind control though.
Psionic aptitude available. Let's see if this will work. Okay, the answer is yes, you can totally do that. <laughs> good because I'm starting to get low on ammo. Well, Low-ish. I'm a miser in these kind of games. It's a good habit to have though. Oh wait, so let's get this straight. I took off because of one operator, corrupt a bot, and one phantom. Oh, two. Excuse me, two. So remember, I destroyed this guy on the way out. I bounced. Yeah, I thought there would be two when I got back here. Here's your two. I got spooked, took him out, ran away. <laughs> got the Phantom, got the second Corruptorator. Alright, cool. This guy always gets fried by that generator down there, though, man. For real. Right. Dr. Calvino. Yeah, we were just out there last episode. So yeah, we fixed this door, basically. what I was thinking of. Yeah, we could do that too. I'm Schmidt. 
Well, rest in peace, Frau Schmidt. I forget. Ah, my chairman's terrible, man. I'ma just leave it at that. But yeah, when I was playing Spaceman's last episode, thinking there was something I could fix, it was this. do anything now would it with that big asshole there alright we'll do ballistics lab next time ha cha 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 like to make my episodes half an hour long. I think if we go over 50 minutes, well, that decreases the chances of anybody watching. I'm a small time YouTuber, though. As a newbie, just starting out. Shoot, I don't even know how many subscribers I have. I assure you, it's not many. <laughs> that was cool. Alright, let's clear this bitty first. like we're not fixing that either. I don't know if you can blow it up. Black box lab.
Yeah, uh, pro tip for thieves. It's not a good idea to mock the person you stole from. <laughs> Here's the thief. <laughs> Tory sessions are work. So he designed the black box, but then the dude I just thought was in the right is the thief. Someone else got the credit. It's fraudulent. I need restitution, not talk therapy. Yeah, he handled it. He stole it. He OJ'd it, basically. What OJ did in Vegas, even though it's technically his shit, because of how he handled it, and let's be honest, <laughs> that they wanted an excuse to handle anything. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking that's probably not a good example. But technically, it's his shit. I'll handle it. Okay, uh, if true, my apologies to you, Mr. Dalton. You naughty, naughty thief. Using your position in the company to cover your ass. <laughs> and see, he's just trying to be professional. I'll see what I have to deal with. I'm the good guy. <laughs> In space! <laughs> Human beings are terrible to each other. In space! <laughs> Fire it again, why not? <laughs> That's probably a good safety feature. Just a weird hunch. Like I'm probably dumb for trying this, but whatever. Ah, okay. I did it already. Worth a shot. <laughs> I was wondering if firing the Q-beam melts it into, you know, materials. Oh well. New weapon time. Ooh. <laughs> 
so it's a flamethrower that causes you to explode. Alright. <laughs> Q beam, the TSQPB S11 quasi particle beam is a prototype directed energy weapon. A stream of volatile quasi particles causes rapidly cascading excitations in energetic systems of matter to the point of rupture. <laughs> it's a flamethrower that makes people explode, or whatever you're pointing said QB Matt. <laughs> Increase power, making enemies explode faster. That just sounds funny to me. Hmm, I'm not quite sure how this works. Well, I guess we'll find out next time. Yeah, I want to thank y'all for joining me. Uh, we will find out what this Q-Beam does next time. Until then, be safe. Help each other if you can. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Later, everybody.